All right, Danny. You know what uh, the Span Brothers are all about? You know the yeah, values? Well, um, the Span Brothers, I think, are basically a band of brothers who are mutually always there for each other and help encourage and unify one another and work together as a brotherhood. Um, they're also there as a brotherhood and a band of brothers to um, share their problems with one another. It's like, the, like a team? Sort of like that, you know. Um, and then they know that they're always not alone. They always have each other. They're always going to be there for one another. Um, they also, I think, they strive to fulfill, like, um, spiritual aspirations of um, Theodore James Reagan. Did he start this band? Yes. Of brothers? Yes, he was the founder of the uh, Severian Brotherhood. And um, the brothers also um, stand to, like, give witness to God's unconditional love which is a big part of what the Sparian Brotherhood is about. And they also strive and stand to like to have a life of contemplation and service, which is like any good Christian is like what you want to stand for. So now I'm gonna ask you, um, how is this carried out in today's world? So like the values that Sparian Brothers stand for sort of Well I think there's values are seen in today's world through priesthood and members of the Catholic faith and between family, teams, and bonds between people. Um, Can you expand on this a little? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So cool. like through the priesthood and members of the Catholic faith, you, you said a value was to give witness to God's unconditional love and live a life of service. So that's really seen in today's Catholic faith and people who attend church um, usually attend church often and are big on commitment to the church so that's uh, giving um, witness to God's unconditional love and you said before they want to unify and work together to solve problems that's usually what family and teams do you're always working together you're never alone so I think those values are very visible in those two examples in today's world so as a member of Severian do you see these values as a student, as a member of a football team? Yeah, well, um, like a brotherhood is just like one example, a perfect example is um, the football team, you know, like throughout the season we just finish, but like you always know that there's going to be someone there for you, like no matter what, and just you know that you're, like we've gotten into so many fights throughout the season and everything, but at the end of the day, you know that you're um, uh, that you're always there for each other because like we ran into fights and stuff, but then at the end of the season we're all friends, we've all been happy, we all won the championship. We know that we wouldn't be able to do it without that brotherhood that we had throughout the whole season. I feel the same way with about <laughs> my baseball and the swim team. Not baseball anymore, but that's where I made most of my friends at Severian. I came into Severian not knowing anybody on the baseball team, not knowing anybody on the swim team, and now I have a group of. 15, 20 really close friends that are all thanks to the values of Severian, of commitment to the team, commitment to each other, never being alone. And that's one, how, one thing how me and Dan met. Me and Dan never uh, knew each other before Severian. Unfortunately. Now. Now we know each other. Look at us, we're making a beautiful um, podcast. podcast. But we, we knew a lot of mutual friends and just never made the connection until we realized that we are in most of our class together. We stand for the same values of the brotherhood. And you just know when you walk throughout the whole of the and like you see, like obviously there's gonna be a bunch of teenage boys messing around and stuff. But at the end of the day, you know, like someone, if you're upset about something, someone will always be there to have your back. So, any really closing uh, remarks? No, I don't. That's it. Mm -hmm. All right. Have a very good day.